Good morning and God bless. Let us come before the Lord. Let us come to the Lord's word in prayer. Most holy God, you see us where we are. You see what we've been doing. And you know how we could do better. And you know where you have given us credit and opportunities for joy and celebration. And so, Lord, let us live in the fullness of that joy. Let us feel the happiness of being your people. And, Lord, we pray this day for those who are struggling in their journey of faith, those who um, aren't looking to your word with an open heart or not looking to your word with a with a spirit to receive what grace you have to give and to receive your Holy Spirit in the guidance of that word, to truly lead the, read the Bible as it's meant to be read. Lord, forgive us when we think we know everything about your word and we act as though we do. Lord, we try to be confident and to speak with confidence before others. But Lord, sometimes our assumptions get in the way of your truth. Lord, teach us humility and the way of humility in that humble spirit, as with Christ speaking of that word, even as he claimed to be the Messiah, for he truly is. Lord, help us to receive one another in the blessing of salvation as we speak it and as we live it, as we show it in our lives. Help us to celebrate together what it is to be the church and to encourage others in their journey, in the way that is the life in Christ. Let us be guided by your Holy Spirit. All this in Christ we pray. Amen. And so to God's word, we turn today as one who journeys into the Passover feast to Exodus chapter 12, reading verses 1 and 2. And the Lord spake unto Moses and Aaron, in the land of Egypt, saying, This month shall be unto you the beginning of months. It shall be the first month of the year to you. Happy New Year! That's an interesting way to approach the Easter season. And as Christians, we really ought to look at the the newness and the renewal that is in Christ and the celebration we have of Christ here at what is traditionally called Easter time. We celebrate the resurrection of Jesus Christ. But Jesus celebrated in the approach to his own crucifixion and then resurrection. He celebrated the Passover. And that festival, that celebration does call us together to be made ready to be the people who receive the Messiah. And this year especially, in the, in the recognition of, of the season of Passover as it is happening this year, um, it happens in the midst of our Easter celebrations all through Holy Week. And so the Christian Easter celebration, at least the Western Christian Easter celebration, and the celebration of the Passover among the Jews is happening once again and happens from some time to time at the same time. It gives us an opportunity to be more recognizing of our roots. It gives us a time to see how this event of Moses and his brother Aaron leading God's people out into the wilderness, preparing them for that moment, and in this final stand of the plagues of Egypt to declare their faith as a people as a way of preparing the way, the long way, through the wilderness, through years, through millennia, the way to the Messiah, as God would send his Messiah through the, through the line of, of Jacob, through the line of Israel, through the line of Isaac and, and Abraham, so that all people, all the world, Egyptians, uh, Christians of, of many forms, people of, of all the world, as they come to Christ, would be coming into salvation. And so as you come to celebrate through this, this, this holy week, as many Christians call it, this holy week, as you come into this, I encourage you to think back, reflect back on the whole tradition, on the whole word of God, as it speaks towards the event of the Messiah, the fulfillment of, 
of the Messiah that is in Christ, that is Christ, as he took the cross. That great point of crisis for us, but the great point of salvation especially, as he took our cross and brought about our salvation from sin, from death, and called us to a life everlasting with God forever. That is our promised land. Rejoice as God leads us in Christ.